Romblon is an archipelagic province located in the southwestern Tagalog region of the Philippines. Known as the marble capital of the country, it is likewise popular for its white sand beaches and diving spots. Now, Romblon leads the transition of small island grids from conventional diesel power to cheaper, cleaner, and more reliable energy. Malaking tulong yan dahil eh, wala nang problema sa kuryente. Yun ay napakalaking tulong sa, para sa amin industry ng marble. The 2018 energy mix in Romblon, excluding Tablas Island, is 63% diesel and 37% renewable energy, courtesy of the Romblon Electric Cooperative Oromelco and its investments in hydro, solar, wind, and biomass projects. Romelco ultimately aims to source 90% of its electric supply from renewable energy, with the remaining 10% coming from backup diesel power plants. This year, we are trying to achieve at least 60% with the completion of this wind turbine. And in most of our islands, lalagyan namin ng renewable energy source. The province first tapped into renewable energy in 2009 when it began operating its Katingas mini hydropower plant in Sibuyan Island. In the past, diesel generators could only power Sibuyan for up to 12 hours per day. Sibuyan now has 24-7 electricity, and their current energy mix is 79% hydro and 21% diesel. This was followed in March 2016, when a solar diesel hybrid power plant was built in Cobrador Island. The electricity in the off-grid island was previously sourced from diesel power plants alone, which could only operate for 8 hours per day, yet cost 30 pesos per kilowatt hour. Residents now enjoy 24-hour electricity at 15 pesos per kilowatt hour, and fisher folk can now better preserve their catch. Nakatulong din po kasi yung iba, bumili ng rip, tapos nakakagawa sila ng yelo, hindi na bumibili sa bayan. Dito na lang. Sa grupo ng kababaihan, medyo naging magaan yung gawain. Yung mga bata, mas madaling maturoan sa pag-aaral sa gabi dahil may kuryente, nakakapagluto ng mas maaga na para makakain agad yung mga bata pagagaling sa school. Romelco has been testing biomass through its gasifier plant, which has powered about 25 households in Alad Island since November 2018. And in January 2019, the cooperative commissioned its first three wind turbines in Romblon Island. They plan to have more turbines installed in the future. The excess electricity from the wind turbines would power electric scooters, a hundred of which are currently being leased to Romblon residents. Usually, every week I spent uh, 300 pesos for my motorbikes, and now I spent only 70 pesos a week, and I can go anywhere. Romblon is just one of the many off grid areas in the Philippines, which are already benefiting from the economic and environmental benefits of renewable energy.